which is now pending against an 18-year-old driver who police say caused an accident that killed a cyclist over the weekend in Brooklyn. Tonight, one of the victim's friends is speaking out about his dedication as an advocate for safe bike riding. CBS 2's Valerie Castro has the story from Midwood. Those who knew Jose Alzariz say he was always the one reminding them to wear a bike helmet, stay in the bike lane, and follow the rules of the road. But despite his efforts to be a good example, his life was cut short. He's had several friends that have suffered injuries from biking, so he really knew how like important it was to be safe, and that's why it's so tragic. 52-year-old Jose Alzariz was a staunch advocate for safe bike riding, so much so that his girlfriend's daughter says he scolded them when he learned they didn't own helmets. He bought us helmets right away and said that's it. like, you know, you're biking in the city, that's atrocious, you need to protect yourself. Sadly, even his own helmet couldn't save his life. Sunday afternoon, dash cam video from a car waiting at the red light at Coney Island Avenue and Avenue L in Midwood captured Alzuris also there, waiting for it to turn green. Suddenly, a car runs the light and slams into an SUV, sending it tumbling out of control towards the cyclist. We froze the video at this point. Alzuris did not survive the impact. People that are, you know, pro car are kind of like, oh, you know, these bikers, they're reckless. No, he was not doing anything like that. The 18 year old driver was questioned by police and released for now, but investigators say charges are in the works as they finalize their case against him. He was not, um, he was not intoxicated. He didn't have a suspended license. So we have the video evidence of him going through the light. We're, we're close, we're ready to charge him, but we have to work with the DA's office. So there's a few more steps they want us to take. Mayor Bill de Blasio spoke about the incident Monday on New York One. Of course, there should be numerous charges right now. If you kill someone through your negligence, maybe that's not murder one. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I'm not a lawyer, but I'd say it should be a serious, serious charge with many years in prison because it's negligence. It's not. Uh, that, you know, something unavoidable happened and the driver was put in a horrible situation. The other driver and a pedestrian were injured in the crash. Both are expected to be okay. In Midwood, Brooklyn, Valerie Castro, CBS 2 News.